Hello and welcome, to Evening Night. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. So, in the last episode, we did some stuff and we're idiots while doing it. So, basically, just, you know, the normal stuff you expect from this series. So, today, we're gonna be taking on a, um, <clears throat> a, uh, what's it? Yes, a prankster comment here in the engine room. No, I, I just saw the, I just saw the map. I, I just need the, I, I just need to grab the thing, I just need to grab this, and I just need to go to the sea slide galaxy yet again, and I just need to, you know, get launched there, and I need to hear the beeps. Uh, there we go. And I need to just take on the underwater cosmic Mario race. Oh, okay. Alright, so this is of course a variation of the episode we, um, not the episode, the mission we covered last episode with the shark. Except now, of course, we're racing Cosmic Mario, and we don't have to go through the rings this time, so... That's pretty cool. I always, I think you're supposed to let go of it, actually. Let's go. So, I'm just gonna try to... Go for the rings. You gotta go for the rings. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, so far, actually, it looks like I... Uh, well, I missed a ring, but whatever. So far, actually, looks like I'm doing better than him, so... No, god damn it all. And apparently Mario has warping abilities, so you couldn't have just warped the star then? That might have been smarter, Mario. Yes! Alright, there we go. Second time's the charm. That's actually not the same, but you know what? It works for this situation. Alrighty then. So, now we're gonna head back to the garden and take on um, a couple galaxies there I actually really like. I, well, okay, I should only do one. I did say there was one we're gonna do last episode, so we'll just cover that one. And I know I do have enough to actually unlock that Hungry Luma, but I think I'm gonna wait until we're done with our next, ga um, next galaxy, which is, uh,. I forget the exact name, but I think it's like, um... Yeah, we'll see when we get there. And suddenly Hungry Luma! <laughs> I say it's that jaw distance thing, and I uh, couldn't help but make a little comment about that. Alright, so while I'm not going to be covering this yet, I do plan on covering this in the next episode. This is the Matter Splatter Galaxy. The one we're going to be covering today, Matter Splatter is one of my favorites, but the one we're going to be covering today is... Melty Molten Galaxy. That's one of my favorite galaxies in the game. And of course, I can't even remember the name of it. So, you know. Wonderful. Anyway, the Sinking Lava Spire. Um, real quick, this is one of those galaxies that part of why I love it is just the music. So I will shut up for a minute so you can hear the music. Kind of bask in its greatness. Enjoy.
I think that's enough, um, yeah, this Galaxy's music is just really good. Some of my favorites, uh, oh, well, oh, fuck me. That's pretty much like half of this Let's Play, and my Skyward Thor Let's Play. Um, you can watch that if you want, that's, you know, a thing you can do. Wanna support some dumb kid, you know, I'd appreciate it. And there's actually a little secret if you wait a second. Come down here, and there are just... Oh, okay, we yeah. go. First... Star bits galore. Yeah, so this level actually allows you to get a ton of star bits. And it's easy here, too. Okay. And it's actually to the point where there is a... Starbit Hungry Luma here. I believe it needs a hundred though. So, oh, so actually, why don't we just cover this now? A new planet was born. Let us check out what this new planet has to offer. Oh, wait, I think I remember this actually. Okay, I think I remember this area. So, not mistaken, this is a silver star level. Yeah, okay, so this is a silver star level. Because you have these little things from, uh, from we have these things from uh, King Caliente's boss fight. I believe it will spawn us right back there. Okay, yeah, good. Well, that was smart. Uh, maybe... Maybe just be smart next time. How about it? Okay. Alright, let's just wait here for a minute. Maybe actually. <laughs> Again, just not be idiots. It will take you places. Of course, these are just kind of counterparts to the ice enemies we saw in um the Freeze Flame Galaxy. Probably grab that coin. It's weird right now because just to like see everything like kind of straight-ish. I'm like tilting my head. Like it's really not helping. What are these things? How do you kill those things? I don't think I ever figured that out. Oh wait, that's all that's all five of them. I was about to say all seven of them. Because <laughs> apparently I don't know how to count. Let's go for it. Yeah, I made it. Alright, so, there we go. That is a little taste of the Melty Molten Galaxy. Like I said, one of my favorites. I just uh, I like fire. The music in that galaxy is just spot on. I think we only got eight star bits, actually, but it should... should uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, it should still be enough to feed the Hungaluma, though. And that'll actually, um... Actually contrast quite nicely from that, uh, from that level. Why do I keep saying episode instead of level? <laughs> I have issues. I just need to learn how to use the English language better.
Wait, what was that? Wait a second. This might actually not be the one I was thinking of. Crap, it's not the one I was thinking of. So there actually, there actually are two more then. I always forget whether or not there's actually a separate Hargalima for the garden or not. But I guess there is. And that one has levels I really don't like. Wait. Alright, sorry about that. So, we actually did do a level like this a few episodes ago in the, um... What was it? Ghostly Galaxy. Um, and I remember this because I am actually editing that episode right now. Well, not at this exact moment, of course, but when this is being recorded, I'm in the process of editing that episode. So, it's pretty fresh in my mind. Uh, yeah. I should show you just how far in advance I usually record the episode. It's not always like that, of course, but I usually record it pretty far in advance. So this is just another race with this guy. It's kind of like a rematch. Although this time we're in Boo Mario form instead of regular Mario form, so maybe just doesn't recognize us. I wonder if you're gonna say that at the end of the, uh, end of the level. Also, just seeing that the quality just looks really like bad right now compared to the rest of the video. That's normal. I actually forgot I did that, but apparently it does. Alright, this is a very, yeah, this is a very strange level, but that's pretty interesting. Basically a downward race as, uh, Boom Mario. God, look at it going fast. Come on, Boom Mario is no speed. Shortcut there, take a shortcut there. No, oh, are you kidding me? Come on, I was right there. That's bull. That's bull. Boo. <laughs> That's so stupid. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. Let's just try this again. I'm just gonna meet you guys. I'll see what happens. Uh, I'm probably just not going to speak right now because I don't know if I'm going to cut stuff out or want to cut, uh, want to cut stuff out. Well, uh, huh. So, yeah. That, uh, that went a lot better. Alright, so I'm only, I'm only 15, 16 minutes in this recording, so I guess, considering usually, by this point, probably like a minute or two cut out, uh, I'll do one more level. So yeah, let's, let me think for a minute, what do I want to cover? Oh, there's also something I want to talk about in a minute. We have a new galaxy engine room, so... I guess you can check out the new galaxy. Well, I'm trying to think. We have kind of stuck with that. I see we go back to the kitchen. Okay. I don't know if you can check out the new engine room galaxy next time. Something I do want to talk about. So as you can see, the counter right there is getting really close to zero. That's when the final level is going to be open up. So what I plan on doing is actually covering that final level just about as soon as possible. Obviously, I, I don't want that to be at the end of the video. But, um, so I'll probably do, like, one galaxy before it. But, uh, um, because it is a decently long level. But that obviously won't be the ending of the series. I mean, by that point, we'll only have 60 stars. The reason I want to cover it is because certain stars can only be accessed after beating that level. And I want to get those certain stars. Like, I want to be able to get those stars. Uh, let me think. I guess we'll do, uh... Yeah, we'll do, the, we'll do the other main level of Boobies. So like I said, I do plan on covering that just about as soon as it becomes available. But that won't be the end of the series. So, uh... I mean, obviously, I've been doing this order in a very strange order, just because that's... I feel like it'd be more interesting that way. We like, have been actively trying to be unconventional with how I play this, so, um... 
And like I have done pretty much all the main like Bowser levels as soon as they become available, so it shouldn't be too surprising. It's just weird because like I said, we will be seeing the ending at like episode. Wait, what am I at now? Like 16. So probably two more episodes from now it's going to be. So like, I think this is 18. No, this is 17, I believe. And that's not what I need to hit. I need to hit the. Uh, that's what I need to hit right there. So it'll probably be like episode 18, and we already hit the ending of the game. But like I said, there's still gonna be so much more. Like that's only about half of the game. So. And uh, swimming controls. Oh shit! I am low in air. All right. So yeah. Uh, right now, though, at this level, I'm trying to hit this um thing right here. No! Oh my god! Fuck me! Mm. Why? Thank you. Jeez, that was obnoxious. Wait, what? Invisible? I had an invisible wall there. Oh. Huh. Yeah, obviously, swimming controls in 3D games isn't always the greatest thing in the world. No oh, crap. A uh, Majora's Mask did it pretty well, but um. Assuming you had the Zor mask, but that's because they kind of had to do it well for that particular game. Like that was a central mechanic of an entire area and like item, so kind of makes sense that you'd be able to pick some controls. But seriously, like, yeah, that game definitely had some of the best swimming controls in any any 3D game for one, but really just any game in general. Like, I actually don't think. Oh crap! I don't think. Uh, Swimming controls in 2D games are usually that bad. Obviously, they're a little slow, but they're usually not hard to control. They're just kind of slow, like I said. But in 3D games, they're often just hard to control and annoying. So, definitely one thing that's fun about Majora's Mask that the water level is actually... I mean, people still hate it, but they don't hate it because you're swimming. They hate it because the design just isn't good. I actually kind of like the Great Bay Temple, to be honest. I think it's a lot... I think... I think first and foremost, it's like... A fuck ton better than the water temple. Cause like I said, the water temple just is boring. I think the water temple is just a lot more boring than the Great Bay Temple. And I think that the Zora mask, even if it's not always perfect, just makes the Great Bay Temple better. Just by default. Which at the very least, I mean it wouldn't make it better by default, but it would like kind of give it something else right off the bat that's like Okay, so this level clearly is better than this one. Just like right, this level just has this or this one. Hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I know that the Great Bay Temple is usually like the most hated dungeon in that game. And I can see why, although I don't think I I'd hate it that much. Well, I mean, I, I don't hate it that much. But I want to say I hate it as much as most people do. And I believe the last piece is up there. Alright, now we just have to pull ourselves up here. I thought you just uh, spin jump on that. Okay, wait. Uh, here's this one. Okay, so it's this one. All right, and we have created a Pokeball in the uh, Mario series, so that's pretty cool. You know, references. I want to say that was probably intentional. Yeah. Um, perfect, yay, we did it, woo, okay, Great Bay, or, <laughs> Great Bay Galaxy. <laughs> That's not even close! <laughs> I am such an idiot. Bowie Base Galaxy completed, what the freaking do? I think I'm done here, hope you guys have an awesome day. See you next time!